Hi, Bruce Berry, and we're with the Portland Fly Shop. It's summertime, and we're talking caddis. And um, today we're going with a Montana Fly Company pattern called Jake's High Vis CDC Caddis. This is kind of cool because this is one that, if you like the fly, you can just buy it. And if you want to tie it, you can get the materials and tie it. It's a fairly simple fly. It floats well. You can see it well. Um, excellent fly. And um, so we're going to start with a size 14 hook, just a little bit big maybe for summertime caddis fishing, but something for the video so you can see it. And then we're using a sand MFC 6 aught thread. So we're going to start the thread and put a little base layer down the shank of the hook. Like so. Okay, and this is really um, it's kind of a, just a, a, a three-step fly. Uh, for the dubbing, I chose uh, Montana Fly Company Frog's Hair UV. There's a little bit of UV flash in there. Um, this is a virgin wool. They're color fast, very nice. Um, this is a standard natural dubbing, so you want to make sure to try to do a color match with the thread that's going underneath the dubbing. This sand will work out very nicely, but black thread, purple thread, you got a color match when you're using traditional dubbing. This is a fly that if you see it in the Montana Fly Company catalog, uh, it may not look that attractive. And I think that's because they take size 16 flies and they make them that big in the catalog picture. But when you see it in hand or in a fly shop, it's phenomenal. It's great. Uh, there's so much caddis fishing that happens in that twilight hour. And the, you know everybody knows the magic hour before dark and the caddis start popping. And this has a little bit of high vis to it so you can see it really well in low light. Um, give it a shot. All right, so dubbing's on. We're working to the back. Just onto the bend of the hook like so. Keep this fairly thin and just build a very light taper. I like, probably a personal preference, I like my caddis bodies thin. Really, I like my mayfly bodies pretty thin too. Except for humpies. When humpies are hatching, I like thick. And I used about 50% more dubbing than I needed. That's fine. You can always get rid of the excess. Okay, so body's done. And then what I've done is we're using Trout Hunter CDC. And this stuff is really nice. This is natural tan, not dyed. And what I've done is I've taken five feathers and stacked them together, kind of for the length. Uh, and that's for a size 14. I might use five on a size 16, go to 18, definitely four, 20, probably three, but you'll get really good flotation out of these. And keep in mind for those of you who that are not CDC fishermen and are gonna try this, that uh, traditional floating does not go on CDC. What you use is a CDC oil. It's a specific dressing for it, and that'll condition it and keep it floating. Um, you don't have to have CDC oil. A lot of times what you can do is once you get five or six fish on it, it's not floating very well, just put it in your desiccant, shake it, blow the dust off, and the CDC comes back to life. Worst case scenario, you pull off a CDC fly, tie on a new one, and just put it in your box to dry it out. And once it comes back, it'll be good. So we measure the length of the wing a little bit longer than the body. Try to hold these. It's a little tricky with five pieces of CDC to get them so they don't want to roll on you. So soft wrap and then some tension. Oh, that just worked out pretty nice, didn't it? Okay, so on the front, kind of like an Elk Care Caddis or an X Caddis, we want to pop those up and wind a few wraps underneath that to prop those. We're going to leave these for a little buggy head. Okay. And once we've got our CDC propped up, we just get in there and give that a little, yeah, maybe a little bit longer. Boom. Something like that. And then what we've got is this, I believe it's 0.5 millimeter. It's fairly thin. This is just, they call it razor foam. Um, might be one millimeter, but 
it's definitely razor foam it's not the thick two millimeter stuff very very impossible to use on 14 and smaller if it's two millimeters thick so just look for razor foam and if your eyes focusing on pink better use pink orange yellow whatever you want the fish aren't going to see it this is for the fishermen not the fish remember they're looking at the bottom side of the fly so don't worry about a hot orange color or a hot pink color on top of your fly and what we've done this might be a little bit hard to see but we've just cut about uh, maybe two millimeters, two and a half millimeters wide, and then created a little point that's going to face the rear of the fly. So I lay that on top. Look at the overall measurement. It might be a little bit long, so you can kind of fine trim it just before you tie it in. And I don't want that to be seen, so I want that slightly shorter than the tips of the CDC. Lay that on top, soft wrap. Ooh, stayed right on top, good. One, two, three, four. Five. One for good measure. We'll do a little whip finish. Wiggle the kit that night taut, uh, not tight and tensioned. We get rid of that and I'll show you the bottom side of the fly. Jake CDC High Viz Caddis. This is a great pattern. 16, 18, 20 and all the colors are applicable. Thanks for taking a look.